what? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Steve. Yeah, only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Have no... I'm telling you... You always were a kidder, Steve. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Hey, look at... The sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, blood and guts are needed. Well, you can't stop me. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking. I couldn't go to school. Okay, why not just tell me where I am? Because that's a dumb question. I am neat. The same? I don't understand. You're not... Good. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? How'd you expect a working job? So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers at... The Sentinel building burnt down. What? That's all. Oh, gee. See you. Please excuse the mess. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do! Hello, Steve! Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spots, honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. There you go, Spot. So, Steve, bet you don't remember me. Heard about that short and the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. Please, it's not the subject, it's the process. Don't be such a party guru, Steve. We're talking about art. Besides. Art enriches the community. Come again? Come again? Art enriches the community, Steve. Spots is a dandy watchdog, but like the rest of us, he has one awful vice. None of us can resist the knife. Bye bye. My goodness, class, this is Stephen. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem to...
What's wrong with her? It. I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then, you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes, right, class? I. Not really. I was just passing. Oh, but you must, Stephen. Ask a. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage: spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin, but a baseball bat. That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear! Colonel Monroe is conducting another air raid drill. The hallway, quick! If an A-bomb hits, what good is it going to do due to duck and cover? My stars, that was... Stop by... Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. Would you like my autograph, Steve? Here you go, then. Violence? What about it? Violence is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. But what about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I rip the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis, and if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. Lest they want to go untreated for psychotic hallucinations, or wind up with their scalp from a buckskin belt. Ah! Shit! Ah! 